What's up, y'all? Nike Master Trainer, Joel Holder, founder of the Ocho System and Hyper Ice Athlete. And as one, I wanna give you some of my go-to maintenance routines uh, with the mini. So with this one, we're gonna focus on the lower body. A lot of the areas of the lower body that, in my opinion, I like to hit uh, are the calves. For this one, we're gonna hit the calf, the hamstring, but in particular, cross fr friction technique, and then really the glute knee. So with this, I love it because it's just smaller. I mean, the foam roll is great, but a lot of times you wanna pinpoint and get into those targeted areas, especially when you're trying to you know, really recover and maintain. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do what everybody probably knows, but doesn't spend enough time on, especially if you wanna take care of your ankles as a calf. So we're gonna turn this bad boy on, and we're gonna do the standard little calf smash, okay? We're gonna find that spot in the calf, cross over the top, all right? And then we're really gonna get in the meat of there, okay? But I like to kind of rotate through there left to right, focusing on that area. You can travel up and down, all right? But it depends on what works for you. But we're gonna spend about 30 seconds there and just really focus on the calf and then those spots are a little bit more tender. Just pause and then cross friction, all right? It's just taking some time up there. Now, there's no need to rush. If you need to pause this and spend more time on this area, please do so, all right? You maintain your body, it's not mine, but I'm here to take, show you how to take care of yours. Those are the keys, you know? All right, so let's switch sides if you're ready. All right, in there, in that calf. And then also, in addition to cross friction, another move that you can use is, this is my jumping leg. You know, everybody got that jumping leg, especially if your right hand is typically a cross pattern across your body, this one is mine. So spend a little bit more time, but not just cross friction. Sometimes you can pull that toe up and down, pull up and then point, up and then point. You can even do that a few times. But whoo, when you find that spot, you know, and spend more time, a little time in there, not breathing too hard, that's the key, remember, is to stay relaxed. Please stay relaxed while you do this, even if it is slightly uncomfortable. But that's just your body getting used to a new stimulus you're providing it, okay? So about 30 seconds there, all right, you did both sides. And then we'll go to the hamstring, really putting pressure through there. So a few ways that you could do it, you could turn it up. So I'm really getting up here, even through a maintenance routine, when you know it's a little bit of a bigger muscle, I like to put it on the second status or speed. And then, I, for this, I spend time in the upper hamstring, really that connective area, okay? Woo! And then again, point and up. There's actually a tendon that runs through the hamstring that connects kind of to the ankle. So that's why I spend time here, because I had a really bad ankle injury in college, which messed me up. I'm sure a lot of people other there have dealt with ankle injuries. So there's a time where I'm spending really in that upper hamstring, a middle area, and then just rotating left to right through it getting some pressure on there and taking their time, okay? So we spend about 30 seconds really focus on that upper hamstring area and then we switch, okay? Find that speed that's comfortable for you, either first or second speed I typically like to use for this. Find that spot, play that pressure, upper hammy, all right? And then I just like to kind of rotate left to right. My upper hamstrings often do not get enough love. So this is why it's one of my favorite routines, really, to hit that, taking left to right, left to right, left to right. Now, if you wanna travel and explore the rest of your hamstring, please, please do so. Whether you wanna explore the inner, the outer, kind of more lateral area, depending upon who you are, the way you walk, the way you run, all that's the way you use your body, you may overload certain areas. So spend the time to explore. You won't know until you do so. So you spend about 30 seconds on each side, and then we take this guy, all right? So for this one, I like to keep it on the first level. So press once again, and then we hit that side glute. Everybody kind of knows when they hit it, woo wee. Get in there, and then just let yourself sink, stay relaxed, okay? Just be there for about 30 seconds, really hitting that glute med area, side hip, breathing. This is the key, everybody's so caught in doing glute work but also you don't wanna overwork it. So you gotta spend time, especially in those areas, if you're a sprinter, really focused on allowing that to relax and get some awareness in that area to promote your mobility, right? It's not just flexibility, but mobility. You want control through these areas. You want a little bit of stimulation that will then allow you to do the proper exercises after, especially if you have a rehab or prehab routine for best results. All right, so then we'll switch sides. Getting this little guy. Oof. 
That's the spot. Spend some time finding it for you, and then just allow your body to relax on it. It's a nice little maintenance routine for best results. Nice, good, deep breaths, right? So why is this tool useful, right? It activates, again, your parasympathetic nervous system, and it just allows you to rest. And another way to activate that is through your breathing. So when you find a spot that may be a little bit uncomfortable, but when you're doing this, take nice deep breaths. Deep breath in, filling up that diaphragm, a nice hold, maybe for a couple seconds, and a nice big exhale. Allow the tension to sink out of your body, and then you'll notice that your body starts to relax. And then when you focus on the pain spots, you'll often notice that they'll go away. It's crazy. The science of pain is absurd. A lot of people don't even know why pain exists. But we know that we can relieve it through simple tools and tips like that. Okay? So that is my three muscle maintenance routine utilizing this Hypersphere Mini, okay? It's not, it's not complicated, super simple. Focus on the calf, the nice calf smash. Focus on the hamstring, then focus on that glute mead. It's something that you can easily do when you're just sitting, all right? And then when you're going out for a nice little walk, even before then, because you warm that body up, primed it accordingly. So I often like to do that as a jump start to my day. So try that out. Hope you enjoy it. I'm Nike Master Trainer Joe Holder, Hyper Ice Athlete, also founder and known as the Ocho System, and I appreciate you. Use it. It doesn't matter if you don't use it. So go pull it out and get it done.